Hello, Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem, members of council, Adam Smith, city manager's office here with a item for public hearing on the sale of successor agency owned property to the Oxnard Housing Authority. The recommendation is that the Oxnard Community Development Commission successor agency adopt a resolution entitled a resolution of the governing board of the Oxnard Community Development Commission successor agency approving and recommending to the Ventura County Consolidated Oversight Board approval of one entry by the successor agency into a proposed purchase and sale agreement with the Oxnard Housing Authority, two, a grant deed to effectuate said purchase and sale of real property, three, the remittance of the net purchase price proceeds received by the successor agency after close of escrow, two, the Ventura County Auditor Controller for disposition to taxing entities and four related actions. Second recommendation is that the Board of Commissioners of the, of the Oxnard Housing Authority conduct a public hearing and adopt a resolution entitled a resolution of the Board of Commissioners of the Oxnard Housing Authority approving one entry by the Oxnard Housing Authority into a proposed purchase and sale agreement with the successor agency, two, a grant deed to effectuate said purchase and sale of real property and the Oxnard Housing Authority's acceptance thereof and three related actions. Finally, that the city council one conducts a public hearing and consider the summary report prepared pursuant to California Health and Safety Code Section 33433 and two, that the City Council adopt a resolution entitled a resolution of the City Council of the City of Oxnard, one, making findings and taking action pursuant to the provisions of California Health and Safety Code Sections 33431 and 33433, two, approving A, the sale and transfer of certain real property from the successor agency to the Oxnard Housing Authority, B, entry by the successor agency and the Oxnard Housing Authority into a proposed purchase and sale agreement, and C, a grant deed to effectuate said purchase of said real property and three approving related actions. All right, we got through those recommendations. A little background here. Um, what you have before you is the um, eventual and state mandated wind down of um, the city's former redevelopment agency, which was known as the Community, Develop Com Community Development Commission. And during the, um, the CDC's um, time, which started in 1968, um, the CDC purchased multiple properties all throughout the city, but as well as in downtown Oxnard for downtown revitalization purposes. So that state law that triggered the end of all redevelopment agencies uh, was effective in February of 2012. And as part of the wind down of the CDC, all the remaining properties were gathered and listed on a master list, which is called the Long Range Property Management Plan or LRPMP. And it's managed by the successor agency to the Community Development Commission. When that LRPMP was drafted in 2012, uh, 51 properties were listed. However, today only seven remain. And the seven are all in downtown Oxnard, east of Oxnard Boulevard in the Meta District, um, north and south of 6th Street, and north of 7th Street. Of these seven, um, four of the properties um, are being considered um, for sale between the um, successor agency and the Housing Authority. In December of 2020, the successor agency and the Housing Authority entered into an exclusive negotiating agreement to work out the terms of the purchase and sale agreement for, for properties. After the ENA was approved, successor agency and OHA staff um, immediately entered negotiations to work out the price and terms under which the OHA would acquire the properties. Now, it's important to note that any sale of the properties would include specific requirements regarding the type of project that would need to be constructed. We're um, thinking affordable housing and ultimate approval of the agreements from the uh, Ventura County Consolidated Oversight Board, as well as the California State Department of Finance or DOF. Here are the four properties that were um, entered into that ENA between the successor agency housing authority. And it's the same four that we are pushing forth as consideration for the purchase and sale agreement. Now this table lists the LRPMP value of the properties, um, which we are including as the sale price in the PSA. So um, 
for the LRP NP value, uh, we're carrying that over um, as the proposed purchase price for the PSA for a grand total purchase price of all four um, parcels, which I should note are vacant dirt lots. The total purchase price is a little over $212,000. Here are some deal points. So purchase price, like I said, a little over 212,000 with an escrow closing date of December 29th of 2022. There will be a grant deed with a stated use attached to the property and sale, sale agreement, which will be the properties must be developed as affordable housing. The term is all covenants contained in the grant deed remain in effect for 55 years with a right, a right of reverter. The OHA must forfeit its title to the properties and all improvements if the OHA abandons, substantially suspends, or fails to proceed with the construction of affordable housing for a period of three months after receiving a building permit or transfers or suffers any involuntary transfer of the properties or any part thereof in violation of the grant deed. The 33433 report was prepared pursuant to um, California law. Um, and that and 33433 states that before any successor agency could sell property, um, the legislative body uh, shall first approve the sale or lease by resolution after a public hearing. And the 33433 report needs to include the cost of the sale, the estimated value of the interest conveyed as determined as at highest and best use, the estimated value of the interest conveyed as determined at use and with conditions required by the sale and, and an explanation for any difference in the price if the sale price is less than the fair market value. And finally, the explanation of why the sale will assist in the elimination of blight. And that 33433 report is attached to the staff report. So the next steps are after the successor agency OHA and the city hear this item on October 5th, the staff will bring the purchase and sale agreement and the accompanying documentation before the um, county oversight board for approval on October 7th. Once the oversight board approves, we will forward all the documentation to the state DOF who have 100, uh, up to 100 days to approve the agreement. Then housing department and OHA staff will return to council and the housing authority board of commissioners before the close of escrow, which is December 29th, 2022, to set up to satisfy all the escrow conditions. And at that time, staff will request authorization to execute a grant agreement between the city and the OHA with the use of local or federal funds to purchase the properties. For the financial impact, sale price just a tick above $212,000. Per the um, state redevelopment dissolution law, uh, net proceeds from the sale of properties are transferred to the Ventura County Auditor Controller for, distri for distribution to the other taxing entities in the county. The city of Oxnard's general fund is a taxing entity and it would potentially receive approximately 42,000 or an estimated 19.6% of the sale proceeds. And finally, the successor agency will be responsible for paying all closing costs and related items. The committee outcome, the uh, Community Service, Public Safety and Housing uh, and Development Committee voted 3-0 to 4 this to council for approval with uh, um, two corrections to the OHA resolution. Uh, we updated the recommendation to state that the OHA, in, a dip, in, a, in addition to adopting the resolution, will also conduct a public hearing. And two, in the OHA resolution, we replaced the term governing board wherever it appears with the term board of commissioners. And in section six of the resolution, we replaced the term executive director with housing director. Finishing with that recommendation, uh, the successor agency adopt their resolution. The board of commissioners, the housing authority conduct a public hearing and adopt, adopt a separate resolution. And that the city council also conduct a public hearing to consider the 33433 report as well as adopt a resolution. And that concludes my presentation. Thank you.